Yo, we are here today for another video and in this video today we'll talk about the mobile app development best practices. So this best practices comes from my point of view of how you should develop a mobile application. So that's not something uh, general, that's just my point of view, my opinion about uh, the subject. I will give you some tips uh, about how you that should develop a mobile application to be a really good developer. So let's go. So as I told you in this video, we'll talk about the best practice for mobile app development. But you will see that these practices could work with um, all type of development. So if you develop a web application or desktop application, it could work. But I have chosen them um, because they work well for mobile app development. So actually, these are um, best practices for beginners. And at the end, I will give you one or two um, best practices for people that have already practiced with mobile app development that are already developer. Like if you have an intermediate level, that's something that would be good for you at the end of the video. But uh, at the beginning, the first um, tips and best practices that I will give you will work for um, everyone, either if you are a beginner or if you have some experience. So let's go. Uh, first best practice, in my opinion, is to think about the user experience. So when you develop a mobile application, you develop your application for the end user. So the users on their uh, smartphone, in my opinion, is not exactly the same than uh, when you develop a website. So you should take care about how you will develop your application. Even if you are a beginner, you should think about the user experience when you develop your application. So you should think about how the user will use your application, will navigate inside your application, how it will feel when he will um, use your application so that's one of the big thing that you should think about when you develop an application is the user experience even if you are not a UI designer or a designer anyway you should think about that just a little bit like how should I make my button and yeah like you should think about um, yeah, getting inspiration from some of our application look like the application like Facebook or big application like PayPal, Airbnb and all this application. Look how they build the application and you should um, yeah, get inspiration from them and build your application thinking about that. So the second best practice uh, that you should have is to think about um, what you will do inside your application. So think about the features of your application a bit before uh, you start your application. So why I say that is because sometimes people just start an application and don't think about everything inside the application and they just while they are coding they just think about oh yeah I have to do that uh, I think that this should be that way etc and at the end the application could work uh, but it would not be the best way to go actually because your code will not be great your application will not be great and the user at the end will see that and it will not be a good experience for the user as i said in the first point so you should think about everything that you want to do inside your application and even if you cannot do everything uh, the first time so if you want to do a first version of your application you should be clear with what you want to do in the first version of your application not do more or less of what you have planned because we can feel that inside your application you know if there is something wrong something that was added just because you thought about it at the end of the development so yeah before starting your development think about all the features and what you want to do inside your application the next best practice that i can give you is to think about your style of development what i mean by style of development is that in mobile development there is mainly two ways to go and um, actually and i think it works for every type of development but anyway so the two ways of development is that first starting to implement the design and then doing all the logical stuff of the application. So first the design and then the logical. The other way to go will be to do in the other side. So first the logic and then uh, the design. And actually uh, you should think that it's not something that important but um, in my opinion that's really important because 
that will um, make you want to continue to develop your application and it depends on how type of person you are so for example if you are more a visual person if you work better if you see what you do it's better if you start with the design because after a few times you will see the first design your first yeah layout of your application that will be live not working because there is no logic inside that but you will see your app live with a real design and you will have more motivation to continue on the other side if you don't really care about the design you're not really visual when you work you can start with the code and actually if you prefer to do the logical part first you can start with that because that's what you like you will be more motivated to to do that and then switch to the design so you should think about that actually that's something uh quite simple because you just have to think about what you want to start with but uh in my opinion it's really important because when you will develop it will give you more motivation and more way to go at the end of your project and not just stop it in the middle of it because you don't like it anymore or you yeah you don't like what you do etc so yeah just think about it and think about what you want to start with the design or the logical and you can do both actually at the same time uh, do a little bit of design then a little bit of logic a little bit of design a little bit of logic on in your other side that's yeah you decide what you want to do but think about it and uh, keep the way that you like actually that's important so the next big practice that i can give you is really important is about the guidelines of the um, platform that you target so if you develop for android or ios they both are have guidelines and you should follow them by guidelines i mean first the rules for the stores and also the guidelines for the layout and the user experience of your application so a good example that i like to use is about the navigation inside the application so for android if you have an android or not you should know that there is a little navigation bar at the bottom of every android phone so that's something on the phone you know that's not something that you cannot deal with actually so there is a back button the home button and the recent application button it's always there so whatever the app that you use you will have this bar on your phone on ios you don't have this navigation bar so you don't have a back button so when you develop an application you should think about putting a back button inside your application so your users can navigate in the proper way but you don't really need to think about that on android because on every screen the user can go back but you should think that maybe if you are on a screen that you don't want your user to go back you should think about that when you develop so that's a little thing but that's also a list of thing of guidelines from the platform that you should think about that you should read and be aware about that because when you will develop your application you should take care of this guideline inside the application depending of the features that you have on your application the next big practice uh, and at this time it's more for more advanced developers so intermediate and not really beginners actually you could still uh, need it but not at the beginning the next one is to have a good architecture with your application so there is a tons of actually architecture for development it can be for android for ios i will not go into the details but you just have to search about architecture android architecture I ios and you will find a different type of architecture for or development just find a good architecture that fits well your project and not go with an architecture because it's famous or it's in the trend or because everybody think about that talk about that select an architecture that will fit your project well take a look at some architecture maybe give a try actually just a little project to try the architecture and see if it works well if you like it then go with it for your project but you should think about that because a good architecture will make a good project so you should think about that and as i said if you are beginners don't worry too much about that just start to learn to code all the algorithm and all that stuff and later on you will focus on yeah making good application with good architecture 
so the next best practice that I can give you are kind of the same it's still for advanced developers is to learn backend development and design by learning backend development and design it doesn't mean that you should become a designer or should become a backend developer but it's good to know what you will work with maybe you're working alone maybe you're working in a small team in a big team anyway you will work with people that will give you something that you will have to work with so if it's a designer you will have to work with the design if it's a backend developer you will have to work with his api to be able to understand them well it's better that you know what they do yeah you will be able to better use what they will give you so for an api even if you're not working with someone if you use a free api or something being able to know how an api works be able to maybe yourself making an api an api will put yourself in a position that you will better understand what's going on behind the scene because uh you can be just a mobile developer that yeah use an api and doesn't care about how it works but it's better if you know how it works because when you will use the api if you have a problem you will know that the problem is maybe not your fault maybe not the fault of the developer will be more aware about that and you will be able to use the full potential of the api that you use and that's the same for the design actually if you know the basics of design as i said i don't ask you to become a designer but it's the same that for the guidelines if you yeah know just the basics of the guidelines for example of the material design for android or the design for ios because you make your app for android or ios you will be able to make an application that will be more understandable for the user and even for yourself you will be able to better understand the design that someone gives you a designer gives you and yeah you will be able to better implement it because you know why the designer doing i have done it like that yeah you will be able to put it in the application in your application in the proper way so that's why i told you you should start to learn if you are an advertising developer that's not for beginners because if you are a beginner just focus on learning how to code that's simple but yeah at a time you should start to learn a little bit of backend development of design and all that stuff to be able to now become in my opinion, a better app developer. So that's all for today. That's all my little tips, best practice. I hope you liked it. If you think that I have forgot some, tell me in the comments. If you want some other videos like that, just tell me in the comments or on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, just click on the like button, subscribe to the channel to not miss the next one. And I see you the next time for another video. Bye.